This is Devons, Massachusetts. Now the development is called Emerson Green and this house is very special. It combines advanced building techniques with eco-friendly materials to make a really energy efficient building. Dan Gainsborough is our builder. Good morning. Hey Richard. Now our project in Arlington reported last winter in February they used about $3,000 to heat the building. How about your building? What will it take to heat this place? For the entire heating season, less than $1,000. The whole season is about a third of one of our months? Yes. You have my attention. So how are you going to do it? Well, it begins by building a really airtight box. In fact, if you want to take a look, I've got one under construction right next door. Great. Let's see it. This is how all of our houses start out. Okay. Y using what? So it starts with insulation. All right. Let me show you. Typical house, as you know, constructed out of two by four. Sure. Right? 16 inches on yeah, center. You can insulate right there. Exactly. Our walls, as you can see, two by six. That's great. Almost double the capacity for insulating the cavity. And on top of that, we're, we're putting this insulated panel outside of the frame. So from an insulation standpoint, you actually end up with almost double the depth between outside and inside. That's pretty good. Despite that, though, you still need to worry about the air barrier, right? Sure. So look at this. These guys have developed this product that impregnates the standard OSB board with a waterproof, airproof. That's the vapor barrier. That's the vapor barrier. All right. So the alternative has always been this. You take a building wrap and put it on the outside of the building. You come along with what? About a million uh, staples going through it that penetrates that. So now you end up with a perfectly watertight and airtight shield. What about the openings right here? Let me show you that. We have a mock-up over here. All right, great. You'll notice the fiberglass insulation in the cavity, okay, right? Yeah. So that's your insulation, good. And then we talked about the air sealing, right? Yeah. So in order to maintain the integrity of that opening, we wrap the entire opening with these high-performance tapes. Right, so where the cuts are going to have the tapes, and that's going to carry that vapor barrier right in here to eliminate infiltration right there. Exactly. Then we use these high-performance win triple glazed windows. Okay, super. So I see three panes of glass. Are they filled with gas? Yeah, we use argon. Perfect. Okay, so that makes a nice tight seal. And look at this, Richard. Look at the header. What is that? That's an insulated oh header. Oh my goodness, that's actually foam insulation. So that's going to insulate way better than wood. That's excellent. Exactly. So you really do end up with a really energy efficient tight box, but you still need to heat and cool it. We do. Why don't we take a look back at the other house? All right. Tell you, it looks beautiful. Wow. Yeah, the first thing I hope you notice about it is the scale. Even though it's three bedrooms, it's only 1,900 square feet. It took everything and just made it a little bit smaller. Well, it certainly doesn't feel small. It feels wide open. I'm a big believer in living small. I do myself. And you know what? Living small means less to heat and cool, too. Exactly. Highly efficient LED lighting throughout the whole house. I love the quality of that light. Check out the appliances. What do you got? Energy Star, highly efficient. I'd expect nothing less from you. I love the feel of this place. It's terrific. Wait till you see the basement. Uh, they always take me to the basement. Wow, you are serious. Did you actually insulate all the outside walls of the concrete basement? Entire perimeter, and it actually also runs underneath the slab. Continues. You have made this a completely tight box. Yeah. So anytime we insulate, though, we got to ventilate. Exactly. Otherwise, we get mold. Right. So here's our whole house ventilation system. All right. So heat recovery ventilator, the way these work, they take exhaust air from kitchens and bathrooms dump it to outside through this box, you get fresh air coming the opposing way, that means the heat you paid for stays inside the building. Yep. Great. All right, but what I do notice is what I don't notice. Mm -hmm. There's no mechanical room. There's no furnace, there's no boiler. How are you heating and cooling this place? We're using air source mini split heat pumps. Okay, so we know these, they're, they're the rage now. So you've got a condenser unit, in this case a single unit outside. It comes in with refrigerant line set piping right here, not big ductwork everywhere. It comes to a distribution box and now you go to individual zones, individual units inside the building, strategically placed. Right. Now these things are the rage nowadays because, you know, they've found a way to make these things so efficient they can actually get enough heat, even when it's only five degrees outside, to heat a building like this. Yeah, it's a perfect solution for us because our buildings never really unload their heat. They do a great job of just sort of maintaining. And a heat pump can just put it back in time. Exactly. All right, speaking of heat pumps, I noticed this. We've seen these before. This is a heat pump water heater, tank on the bottom, heat pump on the top. You've done a really good job making this place efficient. I got one more surprise for you. All right. Inside. Oh, look at you. You got solar on the roof for electricity. I love it. South facing roof? Exactly. Great. And what are you doing with this? We're using it to power the house first, and if it's satisfied, then it goes to the grid. All right. How big a system? The 5KW. Enough for, on a sunny day, enough for this house? Enough for a family of four. You've thought of everything. Great job, my friend. Thank you, Richard.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.